All right, let's have a look at Monday Night Football. The Patriots, they host the Denver Broncos. And it's been very difficult for teams to travel across the country from west to east and win a lot of games this year. They're not winning games this year. I mean, it's very, very tough. You lose in three hours, and I know that sounds like such a minor thing, but apparently it's affecting teams. But let's look at this Monday night game, the Patriots playing against the Denver Broncos. Here's what you've got to see. And, and I know Matt Castle got a vote of confidence from, from Bill Belichick, his coach. But they have got to find a way to stretch the field more. You cannot play horizontal football in the National Football League and win. Look what the Bears did in their game on Sunday. They finally opened it up and went vertical and played that way and turned Kyle Orton loose. In the last handful of weeks that they have, this team's been able to score points. Ron Turner, their offensive coordinator, has extended the offense, and you must do that in this league. You cannot just line up and play conventional football and beat a team on a regular basis, especially when your defense isn't the 85 Bears, and their defense is highly overrated and has been for the last couple of years, the Bears. So they're able to do it, and that's what the Patriots need to do now. Their defense is not as good as it was in some of the Super Bowl runs, and even last year when they got to the Super Bowl, they got pushed around a bit. But what the New England Patriots need to do offensively is they need to extend the field. And whether Matt Castle's young or not or hasn't played much, you've got to cut it loose. You've got to turn it loose. You can't protect him the whole time. You've got to play some vertical football. And then you've got to get the running game going because the Denver Broncos cannot stop the run, folks. You can hit him in the mouth and hit him in the mouth. What they want to do is score 30 points a game and hope that you score 28. That's the way the Denver Broncos play. And the Broncos do have an explosive offense with Cutler at quarterback and their wide receiver core. And, you know, they, they, they're still able to mix in the run. And Pittman's done a good job. They have got to, the, the New England Patriots, challenge the Denver Broncos defense. Everybody has, and most teams that have, get something going. So you've got to do that. You've got to establish it. You cannot play defensive football when your defense isn't going to pitch many shutouts anymore, and I don't believe they're going to pitch a shutout against the Denver Broncos. And on the other side, the Broncos have got to find a way. I don't care. You've got to put eight, nine guys up and force Matt Castle, if you're the Denver Broncos, to beat man-on-man -man coverage and throw it down the field. And you say, well, who's going to cover Moss? Well, there's a couple pretty good corners in, in uh, Denver that may be able to take on that assignment. That's what you've got to do. You've got to force Matt Castle to beat you with his arm. And if he does, then you chalk it up at the New England Patriots were better than us on that day. So if you're the Denver Broncos game plan, challenge them. Do not let them get off the line of scrimmage and establish some kind of run game against you and make Castle beat you until he proves that he can. I mean, force him to until he proves he can. On the other side, again, the New England Patriots must extend their offense. And even though Brady's not there, I think they've got to play like Tom Brady is there. And I know that sounds crazy because, I mean, he isn't. But you've got to attack teams that don't attack are not going to win championships, and they're not going to make the playoffs, and that's just the way it is. Fortunately, in the AFC, both these teams have a chance because the AFC and Denver is playing pretty decent offensive football, and New England, obviously, they're the Patriots, but they've got to defend their home. They've got to take care of it if they want to be in this game because Denver can score. New England needs to match that. If they do, the Patriots will win the football game. I pick the Patriots because of the Belichick factor, even though I love Shanahan also, but it's at home, and the New England Patriots, I think, can respond. Plus, you're not playing against a very good defense in the Denver Broncos. That's your Monday night preview. Uh, take a look. I think you might enjoy this game. Plus, if you're, if you're a Patriots fan or a Boston Red Sox fan, you've got to get something to give you a little uh, uplifting and perk you up because of what happened with the Tampa Bay Rays. So uh, New England Patriots should be a fun game, and now people can focus back on football in the uh, Boston area. But the Denver Broncos fans may have something to say about that as well as the Denver Broncos in this Monday night game. Enjoy. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.